Nine two day two roses. We're going to graph r equals six cosine of two theta. The six is the length of the petals. We have rules for an odd and an even uh, coefficient of theta, and two is even. That means this finishes in two pi, and we're going to have four petals. So when this is even. We double that number, and that's how many petals we're going to have. Now, it, we need to pick the thetas, and we're going to count by pi over 4, because we're going to double this, and that's going to be the denominator of what we count by. We have 0, 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 5 fourths, 6 fourths. We have uh, 7 fourths. And then 8 fourths, with the, which is 2 pi. Let's plug 0 in. We have cosine of 0 is uh, 1. 1 times 6 is 6. And then when we plug pi over 4 in, we get 6 cosine of 2 times pi over 4. That's 6 times cosine of pi over 2. And pi, cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Uh, we get 0. Now, that's all I really need. And, and we could keep plugging in values. But here's what the values are going to be. There's going to be a pattern. It's going to go negative 6, 0, 6, 0, negative 6, 0, 6. When you count by pi over 4s, you're going to get that pattern when you have cosine of 2 theta. Let's start plotting the points. We have 0, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then when we're at pi over 4, which is right there, uh, we're to 0. So the pedal will look something like that. At pi over 2, we're at negative 6. To uh, pi over 2, which would be straight up or down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down here. So it loops around like that. At 3 pi over 4, we're at 0. So when we're at an angle of 3 pi over 4, we're back to 0. At pi, we're at 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it loops around like that. At 5 pi over 4, we're at 0. So then it loops around to 5 pi over 4. At 3 pi over 2, we're at negative 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's up here. So it loops around to here. Uh, at 7 pi over 4, we're at 0 again. So it goes back to 0 here. And then from 7 pi over 4 to 2 pi, we're back to 6, back to where we started. So there's the four pedals. And those pedals should look exactly the same. But there's, of course, a little bit of human error with this. Let's look at r equals 4 cosine of 3 theta. Uh, that's the length again. Length of the petals will be 4. With odd, this is an odd coefficient of theta. Uh, this is going to finish in pi. And we will have 3 petals in this case. In other words, we don't double this one. This will have 3 petals. And we're going to count by pi over 6. We're going to double uh, that coefficient so that we can get that same pattern. So we have 0, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, uh, 5, 6, and then 6, 6, which is pi. And we only have to go to pi to get this graph finished. Let's plug 0 in. Cosine of 0 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Now, if we plug pi over 6 in, we get cosine of 3 times pi over 6, 4 cosine of pi over 2, that's 0 times 4, that's 0. Then it goes negative 4, 0, 4, 0, negative 4. Let's plot the points. We have 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then at pi over 6, we're at 0. So when we're at an angle of pi over 6, we're at the origin again, or at the pole, so it'll loop around like that. Then at pi over 3, we're at negative 4. So pi over 3 is right there. So here's pi over 3 going the opposite direction. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it loops around to here. At pi over 2, we're at 0. So pi over 2 is 0. 2 pi over 3 is 4. That's right there. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it loops around to here. At 5 pi over 6, we're back to 0. 5 pi over 6 is here, so it loops back to 0. And then we finish up with pi being negative 4. Let's look at uh, odd and even with sine. 
Uh, so this finishes in pi, and we're counting by pi over 6. 0, 1 sixth, 2 sixths, 3 sixths, 4 sixths, 5 sixths, 5 pi over 6, and then 6 sixths. Now that's odd, so we only have to go to pi. Let's plug 0 in. 7 sine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0, so that'll be 0. Let's plug in pi over 6. We have 7 sine of 3 times pi over 6. That's 7 sine of pi over 2. When we simplify, sine of pi over 2 is 1, so that's 7. And then it'll go 0, negative 7, 0, 7, 0. So we've established the pattern. 0 is 0. Uh, pi over 6 is 7. So there's the pi over 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, way out here. So we're doing that right there. Uh, pi over 3 is 0. So here's pi over 3. Back to 0 at pi over 3. Pi over 2 is negative 7. I'll have to scroll up a little bit right there. So we're down at the bottom. 2 pi over 3 is 0. 2 pi over 3 is right there. So it goes back to uh, right about there. 5 pi over 6 is 7. 5 pi over 6 is right there. So we're out to 7 on that line. There we go. And then pi is back to 0. And we've completed uh, the journey. There are three petals. We knew that because this is odd. So there will be a, the same amount of petals. With even, we double the amount. All right, now we have 6 sine of 2 theta. There will be four petals. We'll have to go all the way to 2 pi. And we'll count by pi over fours. We have zero, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. There's halfway. We got to go to two pi. Five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, and then finally eight fourths, which is two pi. Let's plug zero in. Sine of zero is zero, so that'll be zero. Sine of pi over two. When we plug pi over four in, sine of pi over two is one. That'll be 6, 0, negative 6, 0, 6, 0, negative 6, 0. So there's the pattern because we counted by pi over 4s. So 0, 0. Pi over 4 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right there. So we're looping around like that. Pi over 2 is back to 0. So pi over 2 back to 0. 3 pi over 4 is negative 6. Uh, so 3 pi over 4 right there is in the opposite direction, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right there. So we loop around to that one. Pi is back to 0. So there we have half the graph done. There's two of the petals. We need two more. 5 pi over 4 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's right there. So it loops around to this one. 3 pi over 2 is 0. So we go to 3 pi over 2 is 0, and now we just have to finish one more petal. 7 pi over 4, which is here, is the negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that loops around like that. And then finally, the 2 pi is back to 0. So it finishes in 2 pi. Uh, the length of the petals are 6. And uh, we counted by pi over 4 is 